Good morning, everyone. I'm going to make some uh, forward-looking statements uh, this morning. So here's our disclaimer and notices. Um, Kala is a company that was uh, formed around its Amplify technology that helps us get uh, significantly more drug through the mucous layers of the eye. And it has enabled two products. Uh, the first one is Inveltis, our first uh, approved product that uh, we received the approval in late August. And we are in late stage development with a product for dry eye disease. And uh, we intend to commercialize all of our products uh, in the United States ourselves and have started to build that capability over the last few months. The Amplify technology uh, really enables about four times as much drug to reach the target tissue. And in addition to just reaching the tissue, it gives a much more even coating of that target tissue, which we believe has led to uh, first-in-class product profiles for both of our products. We'll start with our dry eye disease uh, product, KPI 121.25%. Um, there will be many presentations this week about dry eye disease, and we're taking a very unique approach to treating dry eye disease, and that is that most patients, the vast majority, really suffer from dry eye flares, although there is a group that has uh, chronic and persistent significant symptomatology the vast majority of patients really suffer from these episodic flares, and there's no approved product today that would be appropriate to treat uh, those kinds of flares that patients have. We've done a lot of research with patients, and on average, uh, there are about five to six flares a year, and they last a couple of days to a week or two. And so we've focused our development to be able to provide a product that has a, a rapid onset of action in a way you could think of it as a product that that, um, you know, patients have said to us, this is almost like a, a rescue therapy when uh, my dry eye disease flares are, are really uh, bothering me. In addition, um, we've heard from patients that uh, today there's just really no kind of uh, relief uh, or first line product that they can use uh, if they're a mild to moderate patient. And often, uh, the products that are on the market today are reserved for the most severe patients. So we've had a very strong reception uh, from patients, but also from physicians. You can see on this slide in our market research, uh, physicians have said to us that they would expect to use KPI 121.25% in about half of all of their dry eye disease patients. And in addition, on the right-hand side of the slide, you can see that they even think of it um, for other uh, indications or uses like uh, therapy leading into putting a patient on chronic therapy, which is often called induction therapy. The indication for the product that we'll be seeking is the temporary relief of the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease, which uh, should support use in all of these uh, different areas. This market is, is really huge. Just a few flares per year on the 16 million diagnosed dry eye patients leads to a market size that could be in excess of $8 billion. Moving on to Inveltis, we're really excited that our first product has been approved. Uh, it is the first uh, and only steroid that's indicated twice a day for uh, the treatment of inflammation and pain after ocular surgery. Uh, we had a very low incidence of adverse events in general comparable to vehicle. Uh, in addition to that, the safety profile uh, looks very good and our intraocular pressure increases uh, and the rates were also comparable to vehicle. We have uh, 24 months of uh, room temperature shelf life and uh, we were requested uh, to do no additional uh, work in terms of the approval. So this market continues to grow at about 4% per year. Uh, it's a significant market that continues um, you know, to add patients as elective surgeries as well as cataract surgeries continue to grow in the US and around the world. Something that's not often uh, realized is that in the ster steroid market, you have over half of uh, the business is reimbursed through uh, commercial payers. And so that gives us a great opportunity uh, in the beginning of 2019 to be able to secure uh, fo formulary access positions and, and hopefully get off to a great start with the product. We've had a really positive reaction uh, from eye care professionals regarding the product profile. 
Um, you know, what we've heard back from physicians is uh, that the clinical efficacy data looks terrific, uh, as well as that safety profile, and again, being the first twice a day uh, steroid. So you, what you can see on this slide is that um, in terms of their willingness to prescribe, about 80% of the physicians we surveyed uh, said that they were willing and likely to prescribe uh, the product, and uh, there was a, a very high peak preference share um, and we were encouraged to see that uh, it may actually become a preferred product in the marketplace over time. So we've started our activities to launch the product in early 2019. All of the sales management and account management teams have been hired for uh, a number of uh, months now and are out there working. And uh, the sales force will come on board over the next few months, um, again, targeting a launch in early 2019. So we expect it to be a very busy uh, year for us uh, with our first product approval and launching, as well as uh, we've just recently submitted uh, last week our NDA for our dry eye product, uh, KPI 121.25%. And uh, we have started and are enrolling our uh, third dry eye trial stride uh, three and expect to have those results this year too. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.